In the last video, me and my friend put together a quick little jet engine using an empty butane canister and a PC fan, and it sort of worked, but it was very weak and it went up in flames within a minute. So today, I want to make one that's a lot more powerful, but still made from scrap parts. So I dug around my garage and found this big empty butane canister and this old tailpipe, which will be perfect for the body of the new engine. We first sanded down the butane canister and sawed it a little bit shorter for the combustion chamber. I then rigged up my welder and lightly tack welded the tailpipe to the combustion chamber. For the first ignition tests, I'm going to be reusing the fuel injector from the first jet engine. And this time, instead of a PC fan, I'll be using an actual high-speed blower to blow air into the combustion chamber. Okay, ready? A long tailpipe didn't work for some reason, so we shortened it and gave it another test. Even with a shorter tailpipe, the engine still wouldn't start. So I instead extended the air intake tube because I think the blower was just blowing out the flame. Woo! Whoa! The back bottom of the engine is getting very hot. It's gonna melt the fuel line at any second now. Ooh, it's heating up here. We gotta patch the hole in the bottom. And now, finally, after all those improvements, the engine actually started. But this thing still does need a couple more. First of all, I really don't like the current fuel injector I'm using in this thing, and I think it can use some improvements. So instead, I made a new one using an air compressor nozzle, and I bent it into a 90 degree angle using a torch and a pair of pliers. Next, I insulated all the cracks and holes with some carbon wool and clamped everything together so the engine wouldn't fall apart. And now this thing is ready for some serious testing. After a bunch of messing around, this thing did eventually break down, but for something just made from junk parts, this thing performed really well and was really fun to mess around with. 